Hello best friend and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend you have found me. So girl listen grab a snack and a drink. Hit that subscribe button. I would be truly grateful. You guys we gotta talk about Miss Kylie Jenner because listen um uh, Kylie Jenner, she is not going to be satisfied until she beats Selena Gomez on Instagram, okay? And you're probably wondering, like, girl, what are you talking about? Well, do you guys remember when Kylie was the most followed woman on Instagram, right? And then Selena Gomez came and she goes, <laughs> bye bye, bitch, right? So you saw that, right? So Kylie was like in the 300 millions. By the way, it is insane to even talk about these numbers. Like, it is 300 something million people okay it is absolutely mind bagoobling okay i don't know if that's a fucking word but it's gonna be a word today okay well um it was when that happened it was a very known thing that you know alleged there was so many like insiders talking about how she was so furious that selena gomez beat her that she didn't know what was going on and then when the whole Haley bieber selena gomez and kylie jenner eyebrow situation happened kylie jenner was losing i believe it was like about a million plus per week um i believe in one day she also lost like almost a million people so her instagram stats have been like you know going up and down well you guys as of last night, she reached 400 million Instagram followers. 400 million, you guys. She was at 399 for the longest time. Now, I'm gonna let you guys know, Selena Gomez, she has 430 million. So that's 30 more than Kylie. And insiders, you know, are alleging that Kylie Jenner is not gonna stop until she beats Selena Gomez once again. And of course, you know, this is just going to initiate, you know, the the back and forth once again, because if Kylie does beat Selena, then it's going to become this whole thing right now. Listen, one thing about this situation is just it, it, one of the things that it's so crazy is like, you know, these, you know, celebrities like the Kylie Jenner's of the world. Best friend, did I ever tell you the time that I had a dream that Kylie Jenner was smacking me with baby wipes? Girl, listen, I don't know what it's about me, but damn, my vivid dreams, girl, they're vividing and they're dreaming, bitch. One time, I don't know what it was, but I was dreaming that I was like trying to be like a nanny or something. What is a boy nanny called? I don't know, bitch, but I was trying to be like a nanny and I don't know what it is if I went in with shoes or I asked for a bottle of water or she saw me sneaking into her snack cabin and trying to eat and take stuff. I don't know what it was, bitch, but all of a sudden, I'm over here and all I remember is her with baby white smacking me left and right. Like literally smacking me. And I'm like, I Kylie, no, Kylie, ow, Kylie, Kylie. That's what I was dreaming about, bitch, that she was slapping with baby wipes. <gasps> what the fuck does that mean? Damn, these Kardashian girls, they're crazy. They are so much focused on like what people are gonna say, how people are gonna react, what people are gonna, you know, think about you, what they're gonna, you know, how they're gonna see you, how you, you are seen in the public. And they really do believe, in my opinion, that these numbers measure up who they are. You know what I mean? Like these numbers, like they depend so much on these numbers. And that is just something so insane. I, I really feel like the people who, you know how like they say like when you have like money and you're like old money, you're like used to it. So you don't really brag about it. You don't really talk about it. It's sort of like that. It's like when you're, when you have something and it's something that yes, you value. Yes, you're grateful for, but it's not the most, the center of your world. You know, that's, that's very different. And, but with, you know, with Kylie, it is being said that she is going to stop at nothing to beat Selena Gomez. So of course people are alleging that they're bi that you know it's this and that that's that's and this i just honestly feel like the card like, i've been listen listen bitch the other day i was a little bit like um i had a little extra time on my hands and bitch i don't know how i ended up in like i i just 
I, 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 I'm, you know, I ended up in the weird, weird side of YouTube, bitch, where like the very strange things are, you know, happening, the conspiracies and the theories about like Hollywood and stuff. And bitch, I found myself in a very scary place where I could not get out of it. And I was like, next video, next video, next video, next video. And it was about like just dark, you know, conspiracies about like the Kardashians come from a long line of witches. Did you guys hear that? Okay, so listen, bitch, get comfortable. So allegedly, girl, hang on. Oh, girl, hang on. Sorry, bitch. I think I'm... Oh, girl, did you see my ass crack? Who cares, bitch? You know what? You've seen my booty before on Instagram. So, okay. Allegedly, right? The Kardashians... So, it's like this very, very complicated video. But allegedly, it's from a Kardashian curse, right? That like an ancestor of like a thousand years ago or something... Uh, uh, the bloodline of the Kardashians, she was allegedly a witch. And she made a pact with you-know-who and she was like okay i want all the power to all of my you know bloodline you know past present and future so she allegedly did that pact and then it you know it evolved and evolved and evolved but of course the curse comes with you know something bad it always comes with a price and the price was that you're never going to be in a happy relationship with a spouse you're always going to be very famous you're gonna have a lot of money you're gonna have a lot of power but you're not gonna have a lot of luck with guys and look at the guys that currently are, are look at their love life drama if you want i can get into a deep dive of their love interests and their relationships but it's actually kind of crazy to think about it because it's like, you know, yes, they have all the power in the world. Yes, they have all the money in the world. Yes, they have all this large following. Yes, but they're really not lucky in guys, which is actually kind of crazy. So, you know, this here's the thing. I I definitely do believe that there are, you know, some some things that are unexplainable. I think that the 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 power, the power of the Kardashians is you know even though a lot of us you know we're like this with them some don't like them some love them some are in the middle it is insane the the amount of things that they did move because yeah it's calmed down now but i mean the power that these ladies have had and there's one thing that i in a one thing that about kylie jenner that i saw in a preview of last season before the season aired was she said in a preview of what's to come said you know what are we doing with all this power what are we doing with all this influence and i thought to myself wow finally you know they're grasping on it you know they're understanding that they do have a lot of power and girl it was just a stupid ass clip that didn't go nowhere you know what i mean um so anyways i i definitely think that kylie will stop at nothing to be the most powerful person on instagram and that definitely comes with beating selena gomez um now can she beat selena gomez i have no idea because selena gomez every single day there are about 50 plus thousand people who are following selena and then in kylie it's about 10 to 30 pe thousand people following kylie so you know it's one of those things that's like you know if you really take a perspective of who's doing what and who's really on top of their game, you really do have Selena Gomez being the, the winner because the Kardashian-Jenner clan, yes, they're still mega successful. Yes, they're still amazingly huge, but they're nothing compared to what they once were in their heyday, you know? It's definitely coming down a little bit, but they're still, you know, immensely popular and, and very famous. But you don't really hear too much about Kylie Cosmetics anymore, you know? You don't really hear, there's not like this latest obsession, there's not a trend, there's not, you know, anything. That's why I do believe that she is showing a little bit more of herself on the a reality show, The Kardashians on Hulu. And why you know she is now dating timothy chalamet is because she needs something new to come you know to to be relevant again in my opinion because i definitely do think that she's falling off so do i think these are bots i just it's hard for me to believe that you know every single day hundreds of thousands of people you know every week are following kylie and for what because there's really nothing trending about kylie jenner so are people just finding out who kylie jenner is are people just you know randomly on hulu saying oh what is this kardashian show about you know because that's what i'm thinking but versus selena she's always opening to new things with her music it's new her her show on hulu it's new her you know her cooking shows they're new they're, she's always putting new 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 things 
to bring in new people to follow her rather than Kylie who really hasn't done anything new. And that is why I do believe she's come back and is a larger role in the reality show. So will Kylie Jenner stop at nothing? I have no idea, bitch, but I don't think that she's gonna beat Selena Gomez, girl. I really do not think so. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye.